Hi, I'm George Cobia, and welcome to my court. Today we're talking about the slice. So we all work hard to develop our top spin ball, and that's a very, very big deal because it allows you the ability to swing as hard as you want at a ball. If you get in trouble, you can swing away. You can lift up the back of that ball, give it lots of top spin, and it'll come down in the court, and you begin to trust that, okay? That's a real important thing. But what happens when you want to open the racket face, which creates slice? And so that's nothing more than playing with an open face. The slice is probably the biggest utility shot used. And the reason why it's used is because as a player, you can slice a ball back into the court and you can control the depth and the direction of it way better than you can with topspin. Now, understand that topspin is always pushing. So in other words, what I mean by that is traveling towards the other player and when it lands, it's gonna travel again. It's gonna pick up speed and go even faster towards that player. So that's your topspin when it's used. Now, when, when you're using slice, the ball goes backwards and it floats. So now it's gonna float through and it, according to how much backspin you've put on it, and of course this is different levels of backspin for different levels of players, uh, a 5-0 player can do what's called lay a backhand down. So it's a real tough shot for you to dig out. And it basically is a neutral ball in other words, if they know their ball is going to come up short by the way that your ball is coming at them, they will slice through the ball and lay it down on the other side so that you don't get the luxury of letting, seeing a ball sit up in front of you in your court and walk up to it and do whatever you want. And when they lay it down, now it makes it a little bit tougher. So the tougher the shot, the less you can control it. We can survive that moment and keep moving on in the point. So it's important to understand how valuable to learn how to hit the tennis ball with an open racket face, which is a slice. It, it will help you with your volleys. It will help you with your angles. It will help you in every part of your game. So once you've got your topspin ball working and you've got it going pretty well, start reversing that spin. That's the slice. And so understanding that gives you a whole lot more understanding of how the ball is going to uh, come back at you. So when you see someone slice a ball, your reaction starts to change because you know this ball's not gonna bounce up on you, it's gonna lay down on you. When you see a player roll a ball, you know it's gonna go up. So all of these are reactions that you have on the ball coming in. You need to understand that by doing it yourself. So being, uh, understanding how to slice a ball, understanding how to play the ball with an open racket face will help your volleys, it helps your uh, ground strokes. It gets you out of trouble when you're in trouble. It buys you time when you're off the court. It, it'll, it'll make you a better lobber. It'll make you a better volleyer. Uh, so slicing a tennis ball is a major part of the game, and it's something that you need to add to your game if you don't already have it. If you have it, but you don't use it a lot, understand. Use it. Players try to trap you at the net, and you have no other place to go and you slice the ball and hand it right to them. They have to work twice as hard to get that ball back up and over the net, and you might be able to recover in the meantime. So understanding how to use your slice and understanding how to hit a slice is a major part of building your game, and you will become a better player. Thanks for coming to my court. This is George Cobia. Become a subscriber. Thanks again.